Guess who's back from their summer break? What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on M Kwan Reviews with me, M Kwan. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a first look at the brand new EMUI 10. Now this hasn't officially launched, but it will be coming later on in the month of September. This is Huawei's uh, software, the Android powered software that you'll find on their smartphones. And there are some major changes that are coming to this. So in this video, I'm gonna be running through these with you. I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five standout features on the brand new EMUI 10. I've been using this for a couple of days. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So for demo purposes, I'm gonna be showing you EMUI 10 on the Huawei P30 Pro, still an absolutely incredible smartphone in 2019. And EMU, uh, EMUI 10 is built on Android uh, Q. So Android 10, as you can see over here, complete with the uh, Easter eggs incorporated. Um, one of the things that will stand out and one of the things that I wanna start off by talking is dark mode. Dark mode is something that we're seeing more and more manufacturers incorporate in 2019 um, and EMUI does this a little differently from what you'll find in let's say Android Q, developer beta version. Um, there is a feature here that will force third party apps to uh, essentially override dark mode. So it will force them to turn into dark mode even if those developers haven't yet enabled that on their end. So what you're gonna get is a system-wide uh, version of dark mode, which is actually pretty cool uh, to use. And again, it's something that, you know, in 2019 seems to be a big, big craze. So that dark mode will be incorporated throughout. Now, if you want to turn that on and off, um, you know, you want to go back to kind of using the standard, which is something that you'll find in EMUI, basically anything earlier than EMUI 10, there is a toggle in display that will allow you to turn it on and also turn it off. So dark mode is definitely coming in EMUI 10 and it's gonna be system wide. The second thing that really will stand out in EMUI 10 is related to settings down there. So one of the things that you'll notice is uh, Huawei have made the settings, they've reorganized them and actually simplified them as well. So one of the things is that at the top there, you're gonna see all of the settings that are your most frequently used. Um, they will appear right at the top. And then the rest of them are grouped together uh, in relation to um, each other, essentially. And you'll notice that they're differentiated between that sort of gap there um, that you can see. So you've got you know things like uh, all the network related uh, settings at the top. You've got the display and screen uh, theme related settings uh, further down, sounds, so on and so forth. So it just makes uh, using the settings much more easier and uh, reorganized to essentially be based around what you use as well. Another thing related to settings is this new quick style uh, toggle uh, update over here. So one of the things that it's done, I don't know if you've noticed here, if you're using this with one hand, one finger, the whole kind of premise of the new EMUI uh, 10 is based on this, what Huawei are calling magazine style. So essentially allowing you uh, to use uh, larger devices like the P30 Pro with one-handed use. And what that does is, particularly with the quick toggles, it's moved everything down slightly further, allowing you to use it with one uh, thumb or one finger, whatever is easier. And the other thing that you'll notice here is there's really small graphics that they've incorporated as well. As small touches, I mean, there's nothing fundamental. It's not gonna change your life in any particular major way, but it's just small things uh, incorporated within the graphics that just show the refinement of the operating system. Right. The fourth thing that stood out for me was gestures. Uh, simple things like swiping up now to get access to all of your apps, so essentially your app tray, um, are very, very prominent now. Uh, to be fair, that was there in previous versions of EMUI. Uh, you simply needed to go to the home screen, home screen style, and you can incorporate that there. But in EMUI 10, it really works very well. And it works well with that other uh, gesture that you just saw, and that is swipe up to go to the home screen. Makes life a lot more easier when you're going from app to app and you just wanna go straight back. And it also means that you get less cluttering there by removing the home uh, button essentially. Um, and uh, this is something that ties in well throughout EMUI. The whole, again, magazine style approach that they've done with the operating system means that with larger devices like the uh, P30 Pro, one-handed use or one thumb use, is made a lot more easy. Finally, number five for me was in the camera app, the update to the UI within the camera app. To, to begin with, you'll notice that you've got that red 
dot there in the middle and that will indicate which of the settings you are on it's much more fluid it's smoother it just looks much more refined now as well particularly when you're going through the uh, various settings um, this is the one that I think most people will notice the most particularly on a camera smartphone like the P30 Pro uh, this is an app that you're going to use a lot of so this is the thing where you'll notice the biggest change when it comes to the UI and that's it those are my top five real standout things that I noticed using EMUI 10 I'd love to know what you think so take this opportunity to leave your comments in the comment section down below are you excited uh, for what EMUI 10 is bringing um, also I am trying my hardest to get hold of the brand new Harmony OS which is Huawei's own operating system so as soon as I manage to do that and get an exclusive for you guys I'll be sure to bring you a video on that so if you want to stay up to date then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit like if you enjoyed this video that's it from me for now in this video I'm M Kwan I'll see you in the next video very soon here on the channel until then peace and blessings